alrighty hosses, so the next thing we need to do is we need to download and install Xcode, which is essentially that software that we're gonna be writing all of our code, and it also has some other cool tools for visually designing your app, dragging buttons on, quickly like changing the background colors of stuff, and just a bunch of awesome tools. So go to your iOS development center if you're not already there. If you're watching my last tutorial, then this is the link right here, or you can just click like back a hundred times and it'll bring you back. But anyways, once you're in there, go down to this section and click the download Xcode 6 button. Now we can either just download 6.1 at the, again, this version is gonna change depending on when you're watching this video, but I don't like to download the beta because I really don't need it for anything and I'm afraid that there may be a few bugs in there since it is beta. So I'm just gonna click this one, the stable version and it brings us to the app store since the app store is where you have to download all your apps for your Mac. So you click install and it starts installing. I apparently have to click it twice. All right, cool. So now, hold on, let me enter my ID and it starts downloading and installing. And actually if you go to purchases, then you can pretty much uh, see the status of it. So it's a pretty big program. This one is two and a half gigabytes. So it is gonna take a while. I have an estimated time of 12 minutes right now. So instead of just sitting here and tell you some stories for 12 minutes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the screen recorder and I'm gonna come back to you guys whenever this is done. Alrighty then, very nice, very nice. It looks like it is downloaded and installed. And since we're gonna be using it quite a bit, you might as well just stick it on your dock. So if you close out of this, then you can go to your finder, which is this little face button right there. And if you go to your applications, then that's where everything is. It's pretty much all your programs. And Xcode, just drag it and put it right somewhere on your dock. All right, so now let me close out of this and let's open it and make sure that it exists. All right, so let me, of course, agree to something else. All right, so here is the home screen. If you don't want this to open up every time that you open Xcode, then you can click this little check mark, um, show this window when Xcode launches. And eventually when we start developing projects, they're gonna appear all the recent projects on the right-hand side. But for now, if you see this, then you guys are good to go.